What is good, Josh? I'm the Smooth Game Man, back with yet another reaction video, baby. And today we are back with another death battle. And today we have Darth Vader versus Doctor Doom. We have seen a uh, previous Darth Vader one. It was Darth Vader versus Obi. So if you guys haven't seen that, it is up on the channel as well as our other uh, death battles. I think I made a full playlist now of just death battle reactions. Yeah, that's the new one I made. I made a full playlist of just death battle uh, reactions, so you can go there to watch all my previous death battles. If you guys want to check out some of the other ones that we've done to re uh, request any more in the future, as well as hopefully I have some new ones dropping here soon. I didn't subscribe to the page. I haven't seen anything new come out recently. It's like, you know, when the next death battle? Oh my God, oh, it's been months. But uh, <laughs> now nah, for real though, we're going to do this one at Star Wars versus Marvel. I think I want to roll with Team Marvel on this one. Darth Vader somehow pulled out some BS last time against Naruto, which I still don't agree with. Obi Wan would have definitely killed that man, but Doctor Doom versus Darth Vader. I'm roll Team Marvel right now until we at least hear their stats and I can come up with a better guess. So you guys already know what to do. Leave your pre-video uh, predictions now, pre-fight predictions after we watch the stats, and then Dubs or Ls in the chat at the end of the video if you got it right or wrong. So also leave a like, subscribe to the channel, man, so you guys can know new videos are coming out. And turn that bell on so you know exactly when the videos are dropping. It helps support the channel, pushes out to more people so we can get other eyes on the channel for that road to 5k. Now, with all that stuff out the way, bars, let's go ahead and jump into this heat and see what we got going on. Now remember, we will just be watching the... I mean, if y'all heard that, but apparently there's a hurricane coming through. But no, for real, um, uh, we will not be watching the backstories, of course. I mean, if you guys want to see that, go to the original video down below. We're just getting into the stats about the the two fighters and then the fight. So let's get it. These two masters of evil are experts at bending others to their will, but beneath the mask lies the scars of their past. Literally, Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith, and Doctor Doom, Sovereign Ruler of Latveria. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Let's get it. Vader's body was sustained by his dark armor, a mobile life support system designed to protect what was left of him and intimidate foes. The suit enhanced his vision, hearing, and physique. With his robot limbs, he can leap dozens of feet and lift several hundred pounds, all without having to use the force. The armor is even dense enough to deflect lightsaber blows. Unfortunately for Vader, his new body had several problems. The armor was cumbersome and weighed him down. Much of it was mismatched, snagging and pulling on his body. His incessant raspy breathing often kept him awake. His synthetic skin itched constantly, and the control panel on his chest would sometimes beep for no reason at all. You're saying in this technological marvel of an age, we can't fix one person who's fallen into lava? I find your lack of faith disturbing. It's very likely Vader's Sith Master, knowing his new student could become more powerful than himself, included these faults on purpose. While it caused problems for Vader at first, he quickly grew accustomed to his suit's limitations and modified his fighting style to complement his new stance and strength. And while his life support systems are vulnerable to electric overload, should the worst happen, he can use the Force to sustain himself for several hours. Vader wields a dual-phase lightsaber. Unlike normal lightsabers, which are already cool as shit, Vader can manually adjust his to double its length. But if it lasts for more than four hours, he needs to consult a doctor. All too easy. With his unmatched connection to the Force and training in both Jedi and Sith arts, he's learned a variety of techniques. He can deflect energy blasts with nothing but his hands, anticipate his opponent's next moves, and increase his speed and strength. And though his mechanical limbs cannot channel force lightning like his master, he can condense and launch a ball of electricity called kinetite. And he can always use telekinesis to lift people up and choke the ever-living hell out of them. A power that would come in handy if you ever had to deal with an annoying co-host. You don't know the power of the dark side. Using the dark side of the force, Vader embraces his passion and rage in battle complementing his extremely offensive fighting style. The angrier he gets, the deadlier he becomes. He's defeated tons of Jedi Masters, including Obi-Wan himself. He matched his secret apprentice Galen Merrick in Force Combat, who is powerful enough to move Star Destroyers, and killed a doppelganger of Darth Maul by impaling himself. Damn, that's dedication. 
And finally, after discovering his long-lost son, Vader had a change of heart. He rescued his son by sacrificing himself to destroy the Sith once and for all. Or at least until the next movie comes out. Darth Vader is impressive. Most impressive. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. And with that being said, yeah, I'm going to do a quick intermission here. We can admit Darth Vader is strong. Enough is beating the common dimension. Yes, I'm still hung up over that. But let's go ahead and check into Doctor Doom because I don't, I don't know much about like his backstory. I do think you know a little bit about the interesting twist they're trying to do with the more modern one, like the one that's coming out in I think 2025. It's supposed to be like Iron Man, like but, like in another multiverse if he'd never been good, so, something along those lines. But let me let me see what his backstory is. Like. This armor magically severed his physical connection to the world, shielding him from the nightmares and transforming him into a cold engine of logic. Thus, he took the name Doctor Doom. Victor, please. Call me Doom. With his new armor, Doctor Doom soon conquered his home country, Latveria, claiming the throne for himself. Is he really a doctor? Well, he was expelled from college, but he just gave himself a Latvian doctorate once he was running the country. So, technically, yes. What a cop-out! Those of us with degrees had to work hard for our doctorates. You do not have a doctorate. Yaha! Check it out! Got it in poultry science! Specializing in the frying. Well, holy shit. Anyway, Doom's armor is mostly made of titanium, but there's way more to it. With it, he's strong enough to lift buildings, survive blows from Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet, and one-shot the Incredible Hulk. Plus, it has a force field, jet boosters, and energy blasters. And also a molecular expander, which can enlarge small objects he keeps with him. Handy for turning tiny pebbles into giant boulders. Maybe I should look into this science thing. The armor also has numerous methods of energy absorption and manipulation, giving him complete control over all sorts of machinery. It might just be the most overpowered suit in comic history. I mean, it even has pieces of the True Cross to protect against Dracula and other undead enemies. It not only increases his physical strength, but also his magical abilities, which includes teleportation, mind transference, demonic summons, mystical blasts, and numerous other spells he's learned over the centuries. Yes, I said centuries. Doom time traveled to the earliest days of magic and learned all he could before returning to the present in the normal way, by waiting. Oh yes, I think I'll be immortal today. But as awesome as his armor is, Doom's still a badass without it. One time, Doom found himself stranded on another Earth, buck naked after being switched with his arch nemesis, Reed Richards, by a celestial... Uh, long story. Anyway, he gets attacked by a lion, which he straight up killed with a single punch, then turned it into a pretty sweet suit. Under Doom's rule, his country let Varia prosper. Its people loved their new dictator, though the rest of the world was of a different opinion. Probably because he keeps trying to conquer it all. Well, whether Doom is a bad guy is a bit up for debate. Sure, there was that one time he sacrificed the woman he loved to hell and had her skin turned into leather armor he wore, but for a long time, Doom's top priority was actually rescuing his mother from damnation. And he eventually pulled it off. With that off the list, Doom did what any magically powered titan of science would do. He went time hopping to the future. Doom explored thousands of possible future timelines, and what he saw convinced him he needed to take over the world. See, Doom truly believes he must conquer the world, as that is the only possible future free from suffering and want. And he's kinda right. Okay, so I mean, like, even the panther god of Wakanda backed him up, and that guy looked into, like, all the futures. However, despite his overwhelming power, intellect, and intentions, Doom is extremely arrogant to a fault. It's ridiculous! I can't even count how many times Doom had world domination within his grasp and then dropped the ball. I mean, one time he stole the godly power cosmic from Silver Server and still lost because Mr. Fantastic tricked him into flying into a power cosmic sucking force field. But if Doctor Doom could just keep his ego in check, nobody could ever stand in his way. Your plan to destroy them has failed, Master. Failed. <laughs> I think I'm still working with Doom though. I ain't gonna cap y'all. He just seems stronger. He seems like his only downside is arrogance, which is also Darth Vader's. So we'll have to see whose arrogance plays a bigger role. But we're working out with Doom, man. Let me know your 
pre-fight predictions down below. And of course, at the end of the fight, dubs or L's in the comment section. Let's get into it. It's time for a death battle! Let's get it. Lord Vader, we ambushed the rebels orbiting Pelusha, but Skywalker escaped. Again, uh, I apologize. I shouldn't have been so hasty to begin. An unwise decision. That's what I take this do. This boss is over. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of the force. I can sense it. All too easy. What a farce! Enough. What is, is the meaning of this? Got a dub. Hey, you brought with Dr. Doom and Team Marvel. It never fit. How you gonna say Dr. Doom will be in the Obito King? Man, the book. You seen his being as not so? It's on, I know it touched you. I already watched it. Pissed off. He about to come over here and fight uh, Darth Vader next. Darth Vader was extremely powerful, certainly capable of obliterating a basic Doom bot. However, Dr. Doom himself is in a league of his own. Vader may be the chosen one, but Doom's experience mastering magic and science trumped the Sith Lord. Plus, while Vader has proven his strategic prowess over two decades of experience leading an army, Doom has successfully led a country, and then a whole planet. And of course, Dr. Doom's armor is absurd. Its magical barriers and separation from the physical world have protected him from reality warping and telekinetic attacks from the likes of Thanos and the Silver Surfer whose power makes Vader's lightsaber and force choke look like child's play. Even if Vader could get through that suit, Doom's mind is armored by his sheer willpower, preventing any of Vader's force power, mental reading, or manipulation. Unfortunately, Vader was forced to meet his doom. The winner is Dr. Doom. These puns gotta stop. 
these puns have got to stop. But that is a dub ski on the channel, man. I do agree that Dr. Doom just had way too much as far as magical protection and uh, his scientific ability to build that suit as well as it did. I thought it was really going to be the speed factor. Like, Darth, like I said, Darth Vader doesn't move that quick. Doom could actually be very agile. So I thought that would play a bigger factor into it. But uh, Doom's suit is just way better than Vader's. Vader's was built to be a hindrance to him. He just got used to it. Plain and simple. So let me know down below if you guys agree or disagree. We can definitely chop it up down below in the comment section. As well as let me know other death battles you want your boy to see. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Man, it's me, boy, Shanta Smooth, aka Black Okage, Black Avatar, and Keep Leo. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and turn that bell on on your way out the video. Be show that love and support for your boy. Thank y'all so much for everything y'all do for the channel. Love every single one of y'all, and I'm out for the day. Peace.